Good day, everybody. How you doing? Oh, my God. 15 and 8. My, 13 and 25. God, 7, 15 and 4. 7 and 15. This is 8 and 15. This is 7 and 15. 7 ball, the 8 ball. These two are the low and the high ball in pool, right? 7 is far away from 1 as 15 is far away from 9, the first and the last ball. So 6 and 9 are first and last. 7 and 1 are first and last. 15th ball, as we go into the second tier of 9 plus 6 equals to 15, or the reverse, this one will equal to 3. In the tier, if we're run running off the latter tier. So we have 26, 38, 23, 6, 8. 4-7, Jesus, 4-7, runner of time, earth is in this one, B and E, altered current, inside the gateway, the 7, it seems like the spirit is always moving, the spirit is always moving, does that mean it's a moving element like the air we breathe it in and it blows out, or is it something that's always moving our mind, moving our distinction and understanding vibrations? This one is 23 and 7 plus minus. This one is 38 and 12 plus minus. This one I cannot do it to it, but we will do something different. These are two black numbers in roulette. This is a black, this is a red in roulette. This is a red, this is a black, this is a black. So it's 10 and 7. Or actually, if you want to go 19 and 7. 3 times 4, 3 plus 4, equals 7 and 12, 19. What is missing? El God is missing. A and I is missing in this expression, and it shows it right here, the spirit in birth to the gateway. God, Omega, divide. 7, 6, 4 is God. 7 times 6 is 42. Times 4 is 168 hours in a week. 23 minus plus, minus plus. We're not going to do this one right now. It's a three-letter word. We'd have to go 15 and 7, 22. If you want to bring out the average. And 15 and 14 is 19. Minus it, we're going to be we're in a different world. I'm not doing too many numbers. So we end up with 19 and 22 is 4103. Always ending up somewhere between A, B, and C. Here we end up with 50 and 26. We're back to the dog. Besides, the word dog is 26. Anyways, we're going to get it to the basic. We're just going to add these basics now. 23 is 5. 38, 11. 1 and 1 is 2. 26, 2 and 6 is 8. Ironic how perfect it is. North and south on this calculator, if that's the way we're supposed to look at it, right? <clears throat> the next thing I wanted to talk about, and I'm not going to do it in numbers, is time. You're taking too much time using up my area, space, and time to go in conjunction with the moving day and the rest of the people. Time. You get a penalty, you go into the penalty box, they play with one less player. In football, they don't use time, they move the yardsticks for the first down. First and ten, second and ten, third and ten, third and long after ten. Time. In basketball, they don't take away time. Do they take away time? They give you the ball back and another 24 second. Refresh the 24 second clock. Three seconds in the paint. Three seconds in the paint. After three seconds in the paint, what happens? What happens in this world? So I don't have all these numbers. Okay, we have to put all these 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 numbers. It's just a full big thing that we have to put together to create what our eye sees. Does this eye see? Do you believe anybody actually saw or was every... Is nature blind? Is nature blind? Well, nature is not really blind because is animals part of nature? Are plants part of nature? Or do they sense when the light comes up? Then they're actually seen, just not the way these eyes see. Too many minutes. What sport? What sport wastes the least amount of time? 
well, we can say boxing, because it's three minute rounds, and they really don't use up any much more time than the three minute round, because the round keeps going on. The boxing round, 180 minutes. Inside a square ring. Soccer uses most of this time. Time never stops in soccer. That's what it seems like. They call it football, but it's soccer. And this is 90 and all has to do with the relationship towards the moon. 2160 divided by 90, and I'm hoping it comes out to the right figure, is 24. That's right. 24. The distance to something 216 in the moon, because you multiply this times, is it 3 equals to 64 divided by 3. I'm looking for a special number. I'm looking actually for 7920 is what I'm looking for. Divided by 9 equals to 88. That is the split sky. That is the split sky. I'm going to find this number with you. Uh, 7920 uh, times 4, if I remember, is, is that the number? 7920. 216 divided by 7920. Winner Big Red Sun, 2727. 7920. I am going to add on when they talk numbers and they write 742 or they write 1742, they put a comma next to the thousand. But when they go to millions or billions, they'll always put a dot next to the number reflecting what is the billions or the trillions. And the rest of it, they won't use any of the dots anymore. So now I'm going to move on with this. From this point on, I will be starting and stopping the video. I'm going to try to get my whole head into this. So I'm going to get my head into this, right? I don't know if you want to see the whole thing. There's a whole big gamut inside of this wheel. Inside of this wheel over... Do I have it over here? Excuse me. Sorry, I'm always a little off on this. Right over here, 17 and 34, 17, 76. On the opposite side, 1, 20, 14, and 31, and 9, 21, 35, 66, 75. And that 9 that ends up is the gematrio that passes through the moon. And it's funny, there might be a hole in it and then a V, just like a key. Just like a key, except you have to go in all the way. And what that key does, it's, it's it's like a key reader, and it's designed the same thing as the slice they have in the hydro. And every time it passes that point, it's able to count. It goes around, comes back to the area space it owns, the hydro reader. On this board, in roulette, um, we were talking about the moon and... I'm going to show you all these numbers, and it's it's not me. It's not me. I'm getting these numbers from here. 34, 76, 12. This is equal to 7,920 miles. This is equal to 2,160 miles. 216. 9 times 24. 9 times 24. 6 times 24 is 144. The day of man, the minutes, 1440. So we're going to bring that, we're going to bring that up, it's, like I said, it's 6 and 3. 3 times 24 is 72, when a big red sun. So we have 2,000 or 216 hours, 9 days. So we're talking about the 9 days. That's what we're talking about right now. And how all the numbers and time and minutes and understanding the way this all comes together because it's not one thing it's a lot of things and it's a lot of things that make it matter because as the day goes on as the day goes on and the earth moves and the seasons change and the moon is out and the moon is in and you go to sleep in the morning and you get up at night and you go to bed at night you sleep in the morning of course I'm going to bed in a couple hours somebody already went to bed therefore they're going to get up when I'm, when I'm going to sleep so let's move on with these numbers and show you right into the Mayan, the seconds, the minutes, the 
hours equaling to the day, equaling to the total of the week, equaling to the months, equaling to the years. I need to do this four times. Messer multiplies his stuff by four because until you get four, you don't have a cycle. You're running in one, you have three to go. Running in one, you have three to go. If I run down to the corner and I stand on the corner, I only have one more corner on that corner. But if I run down and stop, if I stop on Park Place, okay, or Boardwalk, before I get to go, I don't get my $200. I'm not on the next corner. Do you know that the last monopoly, this is a monopoly question, the last property, the property that is the most difficult to get, does anybody know what the furthest property, the property that's the furthest away, you can answer anything you want, you want me to tell you, ask me. If you ask me in a message, I will answer your question. What is the, what do you have to roll to get the property in total? What would be the total roll? Only the first time. What would be the furthest property from home? Okay. And sometimes properties are given away when you get the chance. And to um, community chest. So now what we have over here is we've done this. 19, 13, 8, 32 is the freezing point between seconds and minutes. Seconds, there's one, we get to nine seconds, but then we have to have more seconds. There's a total of zero nine seconds. It takes a total of 60 to create this. It takes a total of 60 times 60, 30, 600 to get this. An hour, 3,600. It takes two, 3,600, 720 minutes to make the day. Yet, when we make two hours, we have 7,200 seconds. And that's what it takes to make the half day, 720 minutes. To make the day, it takes 24 hours. It takes 24 of these. 24. It takes 86,400 to make the day of 1,440, 1,440 minutes, which brings me into 9 times 6, 540, the number to the passage in the foxhole in the sun, bringing in birth, rotation of time, 9 and 6, 6 and 6, 9 and 6 create 6, 6 and 6 create 3, this will create 3 and 6, 3, 4, 5, 6, 0, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1080, is three times, and before you make the whole cycle of 1440, you have 1080. Eight times 1080 is 8640. 80 times. Six times, four times two, four plus two, six and eight, equals 6480. It is the reverse. The only thing that's missing is the in between the seventh gate. What is the number? What is the distance between here and here? 64 to 86 is 2160. 2160. That is the total difference. That means there's 1080 in between each one reaching the seventh gate inside the creation of the day. I'm not going to start going back and calculate. I'm just going to continue. 6480. 2600. When you add another 540, 2700, we can now touch a big red sun. 2700, the reverse is 72. We're talking brown. 2970 is another number in addition. 2160 times 4 equals to that. That's your cycle, 4. Before you can get the law of the average, right? You need to finish two complete hours, and only in the third hour can you say what the average was of the other two hours. Only at that time. In the third hour, if it's 3 o'clock today, you can only tell me what the average was, not between today and yesterday, because you're still averaging out, but the day before and yesterday. So you need to be into day 3 for that to happen. 2160 by 2 is 4320. That is the vibration on Earth. And when you multiply it by 6, it becomes 25920, or the Mayan count, Earth birth. 5-9, living on the waters, E-I-E-I-O in letters. The reverse letters is L and R. Left and right, L and R, right? Real, 
what's left is real. L and R. 14, L and R, what's real is the DNA. 2 and 2, 59 is in between 2 and 2. It becomes 252. It becomes 176 and 86, the connecting skies. 8640, the seconds in the day, times 3, equals 25920. We go back to the next one, 4 times 1440, which is the day in minutes, equals to 5760. This is the year 2000 in Hebrew time, where you get 18 times 1440 equals 25920. 4 and 9 come together. 4 and 1, 8, R and D. When you say the word third, R and D come together. Same as this calculation. So when I minus these two from each other, Right? And R and D, by the way, says read. Because it's D E and it's the letter R. The letter R and the letter D. Read, dear. The distance between these two minus in five is 2016. Three times four plus three times four times three times four times three times four equals 2016. 3 times 4 is 12. 3 times 4 is 12 again. 12 times 12 is 144. 3 plus 4, 3 plus 4 is 7, and 7 is 14. Times, times 144. 14 times 144 equals to the amount of 2016 divided by 14 equals to 12. 144 divided by 12. 1 and 2, 3 times 4 equals 1 and 2. So maybe nothing really existed until after we passed the E system, and then we counted backwards. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. There was no I, there was no H, there was no G. There was no electronic system in this area, E. There was no delta angle, which stands for L because that's the design in Greek. And L stands for 50, and it also stands for the queen, which is the 12th card. 12 stands for number 78, or is it 87? When you add 1 to 12, it's 78. When you say 12, the word, it's 87. October is 87, and it's known as a passage because of 10 in the J family, where it's 1 and 0. Where we might start the alphabet at 11 instead of 1, adding 10 to everything before anything begins. You work ourselves to the size of the moon. 3476, 1776, I showed you in the roulette. 7, 5, and 6, 4, 7, and 6. 7 and 4, 7 and 5, 6 and 6 is the crossing over between G and E, the moon, and Jesus. He is the way. 3 is your creation. Have you ever looked at the Earth diameter? They were talking this number right over here. And this is what pi is all about, telling us it's always changing. Gravitational pull equaling to kilometers. Mass equaling to 1024, which is also noted as DC Roman's way. 6 times 4, 6 plus 4 equals to this exact number. This number, 10, must also be changed to 16. 10 becomes now 16, so I don't know how that comes out, but I can tell you it's now the blue world. 16 and 24 is 40, minus it is 8, and 8 by 5 is 40, stands for the Silver Spirit Matrix. 7 and 7, 20, 18, 19, 20, 21 equals 41 DNA between the two. Look, we have a snowman. What head is missing in here? Man's head, man's body is the difference. Connecting. How 1440 slips in right over here. Three times the diameter of the moon is 6480. 6480, which now connects to this number over here, 6480. Add 1440, we now have 7920. We have the complete calculation of the size of the Earth minus the 1440 minutes in time. 4320 or 4321 times 6 will equal to 25, 920 or 926. The queen of none and all. These are all the numbers. This is the year 2000. In the year 5781, it'll be the 21st century. 
because that's exactly the number comes off. If we ended everything now in this era, the year 2021 would actually be the 21st year after the year 2000. 0, 0, 21. 2021. It is a multiplication of 43 times 47. This word stands for time God omega divide. 1 times 3, 1 plus 3. will create this number. This also refers to 1776 and just you can ask me I'll try and look for in my head where all the numbers are and how they connect. And the last but not least I'm going to end the video just to say I want to get back to uh, what Messer had written down to all his numbers there and I think that was utterly fantastic. I didn't I didn't I mean I've seen it that way but I didn't remember but now I understand it completely. And I love it, Mighty Messer. I just really love that that ladder that somebody mentioned. What's the name of the... I'm going to try and find this over here. Who mentioned it? I'm still looking at it. I'm still looking at it. I think it's in the deep zone. And they call it Carpenter Keychain Cipher by Mighty Messer. And it works out perfect. I just, I just absolutely love it because it has formation um, it, it's direct it's direct it's exact it's a mathematical equation that anybody can can do once they know it so uh, it's not a guess and it'll always work out if you use it over and over and over just one little thing that you can also use the um, also use one you use two you got to use three that's the only part that's actually missing is the three and what you call the in-between um, and if you take a look at all the in-betweens, uh, I'm going to talk about this after because actually nothing's missing. It's just fantastic. It's just what I seek I can add to it is the difference. Raphael 7286 in a constellation of Pegasus coming to you from the House of Art. Thank you for watching.